Hey guys, let's uh, quickly review the major changes we've made since we submitted to the building department and went out for uh, competitive bidding. Uh, so the first and I think most major change is the fact that we're changing from the fiber cement to the stucco. Uh, I think it looks great. I think it looks just like the early iterations that we, uh, we started off with. Uh, the only thing missing, of course, is the, uh, the wood soffit for this uh, gray stucco area. Um, I'm still showing uh, some of these control joints. I think they look great. I think they add a lot of uh, aesthetic interest to you know, some otherwise plain stucco volumes. Um, but they also help control where the stucco cracks happen. Now, we'll still get some hairline cracks happening everywhere. That's inherent with stucco. But by installing these, especially in the, the way that we want to, the way that we want to see the lines, um, it just makes it look a lot nicer. We can have fun too. You know, it shouldn't be, you know, any added cost to install that line at an angle that continues the roof slope. I think that's kind of fun. Um, one of the another great change about change, you know, changing the stucco though, is now your one hour rated walls. Uh, instead of having to have an exterior layer of drywall, that fire rated drywall back here, um, we can now just have stucco over this, you know, the three coats stucco. Um, and then the fire rated drywall on the inside still, of course, but we now have saved a little bit of cost by going with just the one layer at these one hour rated walls. Uh, even though we have to do a, a one hour rated wall here now, uh, no big deal. Um, so another one of the changes that we had to make uh, was changing the curtain system um, along this length here uh, that was too close to the existing house uh, for the plant chamber. So um, I think we can still keep the curtain system, uh, you know, along the exterior of these large windows here at the stairs. I think that's still nice, and there's no uh, fire issue there. Um, but here along the wall, now I think it's kind of nice to step up that curtain system that we were doing before and go with this sort of non-flammable um, fiber cement slat screen, this movable screen that can move from this open position, it could just slide over uh, to, uh, you know, this position here, sliding over, revealing sort of, uh, you know, this same painted stucco behind with these control lines right, right here that sort of align with these three panels. And these are all on one track. They're all meant to, uh, you know, move one at a time that make them lighter, uh, make it a little more visually interesting. You know, this pattern is, I think, really cool. Uh, but we could talk about um, other patterns it could be. Uh, but then taking a look at the back here and just seeing how the uh, shadows will come in, um, I think that's really nice. Now, it's, with a slot system, we're not completely obscuring the light. You know, light will peek through these cracks a bit. But I think it's worth the, the added beauty. Uh, I'd love to see what your builder would say about uh, framing these out in some light gauge steel angles and... Uh, I've got these uh, little steel plates along the back of the center pieces to give it some rigidity, but then hopefully this could be installed using some sort of uh, tongue and groove uh, system at the end of the, the planks. Um, I need to research whether or not fiber cement will do that easily or if at all. Uh, like I know you could do with wood, but we don't want to be using a uh, flammable wood, especially thin material like this uh, one by material, three quarters of an inch. Um, in this close proximity. Now, barring something like this working for you, this if this winds up being too expensive for you guys to, to take on. If you don't want to do this sort of system that that slides and stacks over here, uh, that's that's fine. Um, you know, maybe it's something you upgrade later. Uh, it would be possible to do a sort of a a drop down shade, um, or even just a draw across shade that maybe nests against the column here. No, actually, that, that's, that could be promising. But as long as it's a, a good 10 feet away from the, the wall, uh, wall opposite, which this is just about 10 foot three. I said, let's align the drapery pocket with this detail we want at the column tops. That could be okay. And I would say, you know, if you're gonna go with a, a drop down shade element, uh, you know, just stop it well short of the door. You know, leave there, leave room 
for people to walk by. Oh, that's that's another thing about this this other system here is that with them being three separate panels, you could easily move just one, slide one across so that people could get in and out without having to move the an entire single frame system. So I think that's one of the uh, the benefits of this. Um, if a shade comes down, you're likely going to want to have steel cables dropping down as well to keep that shade system from flapping in the wind, uh, billowing in the wind and blowing against uh, whoever is sitting right here. Um, some people find those, those cables quite visually annoying, um, especially coming down in the middle of a circulation space. I would think that thing's going to get abused and beat up. Uh, I wouldn't necessarily think that's the best option. So I do hope that this uh, lightweight screen system uh, works out, and I'd be happy to talk to your builder about more of the thoughts I have here. Um, all right, let's take a look at the relocated kitchen. So I know that was a that was kind of a doozy, right? Having to to move the kitchen down and make it make sure it's big enough to host a Thanksgiving meal properly. Well, okay, so. We have to upgrade from the cooktop alone to a cooktop and a uh, an oven below, um, and we have to have a full size fridge or maybe the two side by sides. But here is, I think, a really nice looking kitchen um, right downstairs where you're going to be hanging out most of the time. And I got to tell you, I I think this is really beautiful. Um, I'm definitely inspired by the image that you shared with me. Uh, I hope it's within budget for you to afford the uh, designer, uh, you know, panel ready column, uh, you know, 24 inch square column here for the refrigerator and the freezer, uh, that is just clad in the same walnut system that we're using for, uh, your storage closet down here. Um, I think it'd be really, really nice. And so, you know, we've got lots of storage up here, um, above the, uh, the hood here. Uh, I like this black range. Uh, I think it's nice and innocuous. I certainly looked at several other options, um, you know, even including the um, upsized 30-inch wide unit, which I think you have room for, but I just didn't like any of them that much more aesthetically. They all still are the same, you know, clunky-looking oven. Uh, there's a very nice look to do, which would be to do a cooktop um, and then a separate wall oven. Um, that would certainly look nicer at the cooktop area. But still, the wall oven is still a, an oven-looking thing. It still has the glass window. You still see the rack in there. And that has to be built into a wall space, which further grows this, you know, wood-clad column over, and it starts to feel disproportionate. So I say, let's stick with the range. I think this is the right option. Um, some upper cabinets, some really sleek, um, maybe steel anchor or steel angle shelves here. Um, you know, this is that wood sample that you guys found that you sent me. I mean, I would, you know, I don't know if you remember, but this this sort of image uh, uh, from <laughs> Priorities for Global Wood Source. I don't know, you sent me this image. Uh, yeah, absolutely, something like this would be great. Oh my goodness. Uh, I don't know uh, <laughs> if you have that particular piece, if you know where it is, uh, but whatever piece you find, we can sort of tweak the right way to cut the piece uh, using my model here. Um, you know, one of the great things is this closet now over here is full depth to the back wall. So there is no uh, water heater. Whoa, we are inside. There's no water heater door back here anymore. There's no light back here. Maybe we still want the light back here, actually. Uh, let me know what you think about that. I would say install a light here. You know, why not? Uh, but, you know, there's at least no door anymore. So that's a much easier job of finishing that back there. Um, inside, too, you know, we ditched that intermediate wall. So you have full depth storage here. And this thing is, you know, approximately three foot seven deep. Now, approximately. And I don't have drywall mocked up here. And it's a little shallower on this. And so let's just call it three foot deep. If you assume that it's a three foot square, uh, you'll definitely be able to fit that in here. Um, and keep in mind with the stair stringers, uh, this door, in order to swing out, has to be shorter uh, than its brethren. 
And, you know, I have a question for you. I don't know if, um, are you going to take me up on the idea of having these doors swing out as sort of sound baffles um, to change up the acoustics of the space? Is that something that interests you? If so, you know, we might want to uh, revert back to, you know, this door opening this way. Hey, I think this one needs to swing out this way just for access. Uh, but you could do this if, like, you think these angles are going to be cool for sound. Otherwise, if I were you, I would say, actually, let's um, swap the swing uh, in all instances uh, just to open up into the space um, a little bit easier. So let's just do that real quick. I mean, that just seems so much cleaner and like look at that now even the refrigerator swings that way i mean that's this seems right to me uh, let me know what you think um well that's a lot of storage space i hope i hope that works for you all right so let's head upstairs to the closet where the uh the kitchen used to be but now it is a a wider closet area so over here in this uh narrower closet uh, we'll have the water heater and some network devices. Uh, you can do a lot in here, uh, so long as the uh, this tank needs to have a louvered door, which is not quite locked up properly yet. It needs to be a, a two foot by three foot louver, uh, which you know isn't nothing. But we need to figure. I need to mock that up correctly. Oops, that's all the doors. <laughs> all right. Uh, I think the elevation looks uh, just fine. So it's a bit of a wider closet, but you still have a lot of uh, room to come in here and land in this space. This is you know, about seven feet wide. Uh, the closet could technically get wider still, uh, you know, but I like there being this little bit of a, a square space here. Um, it's not quite square, but it gives a little bit more breathing room because you're already walking in directly into the side of this Murphy bed furniture piece. And that's not, oh, it's not terrible, um, but I would hate to choke it down further this way too. So I've got a uh, two and a half foot wide door here. Oh, I think this is two and a half. This looks like it's a little bit wider. That's still three feet. I need to shrink that down to the same two and a half. Uh, then these are two and a half each for five foot wide. So this I shrink down to two and a half. I'll send you a separate screenshot of that later. Uh, this then all moves with it. Um, and I think it's a pretty decent sized closet. So I'll send you, a, uh, you can definitely fit a lot in here. Uh, I'll send you a screenshot with the appropriate size and with the louver in the door for the water heaters uh, application. Uh, real quick, just to revisit on the, uh, the cooktop and range, there are certainly a lot of uh, really nice options, like uh, Wolf certainly does some really, really, really beautiful pieces, but I think they only do gas or induction, and they're, they're crazy expensive. I think this is a, for less than a thousand bucks, I think this is a, a really good piece. All right, well, let's schedule a follow-up, um, or you can just drop me a line, let me know um, how you feel about these changes, and then I will coordinate the revisions with the team uh, and get you guys resubmitted uh, back into the City of San Jose's system, ASAP. Um, I'll share this video with your builder, too, so that he can get a sense for the, uh, the changes that have happened here as well. All right, guys, talk to you later.